Hi guys, welcome to this week's vlog. As many of you know, my three passions in life are woman, Africa, and the arts. And uh, I wanted to talk about the effects that COVID-19 have on, on survivors and victims of gender-based violence. The world is facing this pandemic. And as we figure out ways of dealing with it through our lockdown, through our lifestyle changes of washing our hands continuously, drinking water and so forth, we also need to face the reality that prior to this crisis, there was another crisis and that is of gender-based violence. And even after we have combated this, we will still have to deal with those issues. But the urgency on the matter at the moment is that you know, I speak from a place of privilege. And when I say privilege is that I have a home that I can incubate myself in. My home is safe, free from violence, free from fear. And we know there are many, many people within this country, within the continent, who don't have that privilege. And so it's, it is important, especially during this time, to be slightly vigilant. Um, and look out, especially for those people and for those homes that you know domestic violence occurs in. Remember, people in these homes and in these relationships or situations, we can't be talking about why don't they leave, because there are a lot of issues that revolve around that. But one of the, one of the things that we can speak about is that on a normal day, they usually have a couple of hours leeway where their perpetrator or tormentor goes to work or vice versa. With the lockdown, they're going to be forced to deal with them 24-7. With the heightened stress levels, the rate of gender-based violence is increasing. So that is why we need to be vigilant. That is why it is important to remember the number for the Department of Social Development who you can call 24-7. There will be a social worker on the other end of the line who will be able to assist you and, if need be, send you to, to a shelter and a place of safety. And it's very important to contact this number because although we are affiliated to so many other shelters around Johannesburg, the reality is that a lot of them have, to have had to close their doors to new intakes purely because they don't have the facilities or the resources to test whether people are positive or negative of, of the coronavirus. So the number to remember is 0800-428-428. Or if you're calling from a cell phone, uh, by the way, both numbers are toll free. That is star 120 star 7867 hash. Of course, the number's on the screen now and will be at the end. And other organizations who are doing, and other movements that are doing amazing work is Rise Up, who have collected merchandise and, and items for dignity packs for the vulnerable out there. Uh, you can follow them. Their hashtag is at the end of this vlog. And of course, the, to the Total Shutdown Movement. Uh, <clears throat> we were introduced to the Total Shutdown in 2018, um, where we had the total shutdown on March, on the 1st of August. And follow their, 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 their handles, because also on Friday, we are going to be having a webinar uh, where we will discuss the impact that COVID has on women, gender non-conforming, um, and people who are dealing or living in homes where gender-based violence is, is prevalent. The webinar will take place at 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. South African Standard Time. And of course, follow me, follow their handles to get a little bit more information, who will be on the panels and so forth in your input. Um, and then more importantly, you know, many of us, uh, our DMs are open. If you need to talk or you need a referral, there are a lot of online organizations who can help. Um, uh, specifically with, with, with um, mental health issues. And this is something that is often overlooked. And, and this is one, one of the topics that are going to be discussed at, through the webinar, that even if you aren't in, a, in an abusive relationship, there's a possibility of, of, of dealing with mental health because of the stress levels, because of the anxiety. It's human. And we need to tackle this um, in the most calm, 
way possible, but also acknowledge the fact that we are human. And that if we are going through anxiety and we are going through fear, that those, those, those feelings are 100% valid. And as I said, the online platforms where you can contact, there's also the South African Depression of Anxiety um, group where you can contact them. Um, their, their details will also be at the end of the vlog. But it's, it's important that we adhere to, to the proportions that have been put forward, what we need to do, what we shouldn't be doing. Uh, I don't need to go through that list. There are so many other lists. But also not listen to the fake news. Uh, try not to follow the news or social media on a regular basis because that negativity can also have an impact on, on your mental health. And reach out when you need to. You know, to the warriors, we have different groups. Uh, I sent our messages to people that are in my close contact that, you know, let's just check in on each other. Um, a heart means we're okay. A broken heart means that we need to cry or break away or whatever. And that is perfectly normal. Remember, we are human. So if you need referrals, if you need counseling, if you need assistance, as I said, our DMs are open or follow and, and reach out to, to, to the organizations that, that I mentioned before. And if you are available, uh, tune into the webinar. I will be sending details over the next couple of days of the links and so forth. But it will take place on Friday, the 27th of March, from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. So until then, be safe, stay hydrated, uh, continue to, to wash your hands, sanitize, whatever you need to do. But also be aware of those who might not be as in a privileged state as you or I, or if you're not, knowing that we are doing the best that we can to, to get help to you, um, to provide that support, although it can only be virtual at this stage, but know that you're not alone. So until then, um, and also just before I close off, is that um, also we need to salute our medical practitioners, the nurses, the doctors, the anybody working within within that sector, often um, their work is is overlooked. And if we didn't have them, uh, we would be in a worse crisis than what we are now. Uh, I salute the Cubans who arrived in in, in, in Italy uh, to to assist in in, in curbing this pandemic. Um, but yeah, it's crazy times. Let's do what we need to do. Stay at home. Please stay at home. Um, and, and listen to whatever emotions and feelings you're going through. Remember the fear and anxiety are all valid. And reach out when you need to. Thanks for listening, guys.